Welcome once again to Let Us Farm page. My name is Emily Fonwell Oge of Let Us Farm. So today we are discussing about fishes staying on a standing position. I've talked about this before, but there are many types of standing position we can see in the pond. So this one we are going to discuss today. I'm going to play a video you are going to watch after this. Then I shall be right back to discuss that. But before I go further, let me kindly remind you, if today is your first time of seeing me, this is Let Us Fan page. And all we discuss here is we discuss practical solutions to solving our agri problems. Please remember WhatsApp only. Even if you must call, call me or WhatsApp. I have many calls on the landline and I don't want to reject people's call. So if my WhatsApp is on, it means I'm ready to answer any question of yours. Then if you have urgent questions, you can even drop it here. I will respond. I've been doing that. So please, like I said, all this across all these platforms, we provide free services to you. We are not charging you for anything. So don't worry. Just tell us your problems and I will look into it and give you a solution. Now, having said that, uh, today we are looking at fishes in standing position. Like I said, we have many different standing positions. So watch this video, I will write it. Yes, so the video you watched now, you can see the type of standing position. Like I said, we have many types of standing position. We have a standing position that means your fishes are, they just ate. They are waiting for digestion to take place, like I've discussed before. So I will still look for a way to do a video on that separately so that we can understand that particular type of uh, standing position. Then this particular type of standing position is a position of, a concern you can see this one i will explain what is the difference then we have another standing position that is another concern that one also is a sickness concern but this particular one is not a sickness concern so look at the video that i just played now critically anytime you see fishes in this kind of position it's only telling you one thing and what it's telling you is that they are not happy now like i said if it is in the feed situation they will not pack like this Notice in this video, their whiskers are down. They are just standing. They are not moving. Just one that is trying to move to one place to another. Now, the reason why you see them in this situation is that they are having issues breathing. The condition of the pond water is bad to them. So they are struggling breathing. So what they do, they bring up their head and bring down their whiskers. And you see, they, are, they, they hardly move. They are immobile. Showing that the the condition they are in this situation and it's not good for them. So when you see this kind of situation, the first thing that you will have in your mind is change the water, change the water. Now, there are issues where people have the same type of water. For instance, now, if your water is is thick in color and your fishes are like this. You may change that water to another thick water. They won't have issues. It simply means that the oxygen level in that water is small. So whenever it gets into the pond, they stay there. It will, nothing will be there again for them. That's the reason. So, but in situations, in that type of situation, it means that that particular water you are using is not okay for them. But there are issues that it is because you have overstocked the pond now, their waste is too much, so they can't breathe. They don't have anything to breathe. They now start gasping for air. You change the water, you see them, they will all go inside and play. They are okay. Means that the, your own water is good. So it's just that that particular water at that time is bad. Then there is this another issue that it's not that the water color is bad. The water color is looking very clean. But you see, see them in this kind of situation. Then you change the water and you see them in this kind of situation. Immediately go and look for 
a water tester and test the water of that uh, the quality of that water it could be that the ph level of that water is high so it's giving them a problem so that's why they are, they don't have they are looking for ways and if you don't do anything they keep that it will start dying that's the truth it's not something you neglect if you don't do anything they will start dying so like i said you know there are reasons why it may happen just like i said it could be one Many people know about the oxygen level. That when it happens, it means that there's the oxygen level of the water is low. The first thing you would do is change the water. But like I said, there are reasons why oxygen level may be low. Sometimes it is the fish inside that water that is the reason. They are much, so they are stopped. So no matter how you put the water, the oxygen level is going to be low because the waste product is going to spoil everything in the system, in that water system. And when, once that happens, the oxygen level is going to be low. So they won't see anything to breathe. You know, when the water is thick, it's contaminated. Inside it, there's, there's nothing that is inside it that will work. So every environment is polluted. So like I said, you immediately you change the water level. You change the water, you see. And again, some people will go and put very small water in their pond and say, because the fishes are small, it doesn't matter. If they are small, even if the fishes are just a day or they need water. So when you see this, make sure that you change your water situation immediately. Like I said, first thing first is change your water. So when you change your water and you bring in a new water and this thing keep happening again, test for the pH of that water. Then after testing for the water pH of that water and it's still okay, it means that that water quality is poor. And that's the reason. So if the water pH is okay, the water quality may be poor. So you have to look for a way to get a different water source for the fishes. So that's why it's good after digging your pond or, or whatever, you, before you site your pond, always try and look at the water level you have. It could be good to you personally, but to the fishes, it may not be good to them. So once you notice it like that, the first thing, like I said, is change the water. So if you change the water, if it is that they contaminated the water and the oxygen level is low, you bring it, put it in a, a new fresh water, they pick up, then you are okay. But if that is not the issue, then, like I said, as you have changed the water, brought the water, if they are still having that same issue, go and test for the water pH. And if the water pH come out and it's fine, it means that that particular water, the composition is not okay for them. You have to move the fish away from that particular source. If not you provide another way to supply fresh, clean water from another place, and they will be fine. These are the main reasons why this happens. But in most cases, it is that particular water that once you change it, they are okay. Most cases I have seen, immediately you change it, you see the fishes will have a fresh of breath air. So that is the main reason why you see them in this particular type of standing position. Like I said, we have other standing position that fishes do. There's this one at the stand, they'll be shaking their tail. That one, they are happy. But you can look at this one, the whiskers are down, they are packing themselves in a situation, looking for where to stay. Some will don't move forward. They will, and we see that many of them are doing it. But if it is a situation that is a negligible figure, let's say you stock 100, and inside the 100 is one or two that is doing it, you can neglect that. But if you, the number increases to like 10 or 5, change the water this thing immediately. If those two are still doing it, maybe those two are having issues on their own. Allow them. They will get better. So these are the issues. But like the most mistake that people do when situations happen like this, they will not go and pour water, leave bitter leaf water inside a critical situation like this. It's unfortunate. Many have used it and lost a lot. But we need to learn. Ignorance is never an excuse. So is there anything I have said now that you don't understand or you'd like me to explain for that? Please use the comment section. Or if you're having an issue, do a two to three minutes video, send it to 081-353-353-48909. I'll pick it up from there. And like I said, this is Let Us Farm page, L-E-T-U-S-F-A-R-M. And all we do here is we provide you with practical solutions to solving your agri problem. And please make sure you follow us on other, channel, other uh, social media channels and if you have anything you need us to bring, tell us in the comment section and I will do justice to that. Until I come your way next time, my name is Emily Fongwell Ogi of Let Us Pass. 
Kifa Lake. Say what? Hey, y'all, come look at this.